The primordial universe is only as large as the nucleus of an atom and intensely compressed. And suddenly, the explosion that marks the origin of all existence and everything we witness today. But a very big secret is hidden within it. Firstly, how a universe that now spans 93 billion light years had shrunk to such a small size. And secondly, what existed before the Big Bang? As you know, all the events happening around us are causes and effects. That is, an event is the result of a cause. Like the falling of an apple from a tree where gravity is the cause and the effect is the apple falling. But what was the cause of the Big Bang? Humans have always sought to discover the cause of an event from the very beginning to the present day. Since they have not yet found any cause for the occurrence of the Big Bang, they say that God must have been the cause of this event. However, you and I, dear viewers, who have a great interest in science and are seeking the truth, never settle for this answer and strive to prove the ultimate truth, even if it is God, through physics and mathematics. If you're interested in finding out what existed before the Big Bang and what caused this explosion, please stay with us until the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and support us by liking the video and sharing it with your friends. We all know that the origin of all existence was the Big Bang, but today we intend to take a deeper look into this matter to get closer to solving this mysterious puzzle. Light, or photons, is the cause that allows us to observe events around us and analyze them. But how is this light produced? Have you ever thought about where light comes from? Don't worry at all. I'll explain it to you very simply now. Generally, we all know that an atom is composed of three fundamental particles called electrons, protons, and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus of the atom, while electrons orbit around the nucleus in specific energy levels and orbitals. When we give energy to an electron, it moves from its ground state energy level to higher energy levels. Since it's unstable in those states, it releases its energy and returns back to the ground state. This energy is emitted in the form of photons, or light, so far, we've understood that we need an atom to produce a photon. However, up to 300,000 years after the Big Bang, the cosmic background temperature was so high that atoms didn't have the opportunity to form, and the universe was a sea of fundamental particles. But as time passed and the cosmic background temperature cooled down, the first atoms, namely hydrogen, formed, providing the groundwork for the birth of the first photons, and the universe entered the era of illumination. But what was our goal in saying all this? And what does it have to do with discovering the past before the Big Bang? Please stop the video and take a guess yourself before I give you the answer and write it in the comments section for us. Yes, that's correct. Before the era of illumination, there was no light whatsoever for us to observe the events of that time with radio telescopes or optical telescopes to precisely understand what happened. And before that, it acts like a light wall and is a barrier between the beginning point of the universe and 300,000 years after it. But as you know, humans never stay silent and have always been after discovering the truth from the beginning. For that reason, several theories have been proposed and in this video, we intend to discuss three theories that are more acceptable than others about how this explosion occurred and the events before it. Theory 1. Multiverse and domino-like explosions. According to this theory, in addition to our universe, there are countless other universes, all of which have emerged as a result of the Big Bang. These explosions are interconnected like a domino effect and continue indefinitely. Theory 2. Planck Era To explain this theory, we need to delve into the Planck Era, 
a time when only six times 10 to the power of negative 34 seconds had passed since the Big Bang, and even fundamental particles had not yet formed. It was during this time that the primordial space-time took shape, and the zero point is considered the beginning of the universe. We humans need time to understand the events around us. But according to this definition, time was precisely born after the Big Bang, and there was no time before that for us to comprehend events through it. However, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity can also act as a repellent and reverse time. It means exactly the opposite of Earth's gravity, which pulls everything towards itself. This one pushes everything outward with acceleration. Similarly, this concept can be applied to time, allowing us to move in the reverse direction of time and enter negative seconds and hours. Theory 3. Particle Generation from Nothing According to the theory of quantum fields, which I myself am a supporter of, our universe is constructed from fields called quantum fields. This means that even in a vacuum where nothing exists, these quantum fields are constantly fluctuating, and these fluctuations can produce particles out of nothing. This is truly a fascinating theory. I must say that this theory has been experimentally observed in fundamental particle experiments, and scientists have been able to prove it. So according to this theory, a particle or matter can come into existence from nothingness, and perhaps the Big Bang itself emerged from nothingness, without the need for any creator to bring it into existence. Which of the theories do you find more acceptable? If you have read newer theories in a book or somewhere else, please be sure to write it in the comments section for us. For information about quantum and quantum communications, Watch the video that has appeared on the left side for you. I hope you enjoy watching this video.